guys, it's Mega Man 33570. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black. In the last episode, we got over here to the Chargestone Cave. And uh, Clay unlocked the Galvantula um, web and destroyed it for us. And we can now head into the Chargestone Cave. And there are a few new Pokemon in this cave. So, let's see if we can find it. I mean, I mean let's <laughs> check out the biomes. Alright, so now that we're done with that, uh, there's... What the f... Ninjas! Come. I don't want to come on you. Ew. That's disgusting. My lord, and he brought you the one you wanted. Teleportation is epic. Do 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 do. Oh god, this is so. Ah, yes. That was a strat. I'll try it just now. Gets us and listen to them. In T Plus. Apparently, they're the ones who pre prepared the Galvantula and set the cave entrance. Charleston Cave. I like this place. Formulas express electricity and its connection to Pokemon. If people did not exist, this would be an ideal place. You have sh you have been chosen, you know. It does it surprise me that I said that? No, it doesn't surprise me. Hm. If you don't understand what it means, it's not likely to surprise you. I told Getsus and your friends about you. About you and your friends. After I did, he apparently told the Shadow Triad a bit to find you. Sharon is pursuing the ideal strength. Poor Bianca has faced the sad truth that no one no one not everyone can become strong. And you are not a, I don't care. I don't care, and Whatever, just leave me alone. Alright, so, there is actually, there are actually two Pokemon I want to find in here. The first one is pretty rare to find. Well, actually, they're both rare to find. Because um, this one, you have to find a specific thing in this cave to get. So, uh, I'm going to meet you guys in a second and meet you guys when I find it. And this is probably it, right? Yes, this is it! It's Drillbur! Alright, wow, that actually didn't take that long for me to find. Uh, alright, Toady. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do to attack it, though. That's unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna have to attack it head on. I mean, catch it head on. So, this is going to be the newest member of my team. I'm gonna go ahead and use an Ultra Ball on it, and let's see if we can get it. So, go Ultra Ball. Ding, ding. One. God, it, this, it shakes so slow, and God, I, I need to speed this up to catch it. God, they, they, it shakes so slow on Desmond, man. God, I need no dollar GBA or something. Hold your ball. Go. Alright, let's see. One. Two. Three. Yes, we got him! Alright. So, we now caught the next member of our team, Rilber. Yes, Drillbur though was going to be the newest member of the team the whole time. He was supposed to be the first Pokemon I was supposed to catch, but no. Um, so the nickname, I kind of forgot what I was going to call him, so I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to go check back. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So, I, I decided, I saw what I got, and because when I start my walk, before I do my walkthroughs, I plan out my teams, and this is what I'm going to call it. So first of all... So we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna do lowercase. No, no, not others. Ah, damn it. Okay, uh, okay. R. Uh, this is kind of weird, but you know, it's kind of cool at the same time. So it's Rip. No, not D. C. Rip Claw. Yes, Rip Claw is going to be his name. And I guess we'll put him in front for now. Uh, I'm gonna be right back. Oh, whoa, he has Dig? Whoops, didn't mean to use Dig. Uh, yeah, you can use Dig to get out of a cave easily, so you can just do that. And all of a sudden, boom, you're out of your cave, and you're just right at the entrance now. So, um, now I need to go clear up some space in my party anyway, so I'll meet you guys in a second. Uh, I'm gonna go get my Pokemon healed up. And I'm also... On my way back, I'm going to train up Drillbur to um, around level 30 so he can be around the same. Actually, I'm probably going to get him to 29 because he evolves at 30. So, I'll meet you guys back here in a second. Alright, I'm back. That was a long and painful training session. If it weren't for Baconator, Ripclaw would not have gotten anywhere, because Ripclaw is really, really suckish right now. He really sucks pretty badly. Uh, and I already- I've basically used up all my Moomoo Milks. I have like two Moomoo Milks left, and two Hyper Potions. Uh, and 
I only have four revives left. It's because Ripclaw sucks. Um, he sucks with attack, but once he evolves, I will be so much happier. Uh, I'm just gonna keep him at level 28 for now, with the experience share on him. Uh, actually, I'm going to take the experience share off of him for now, um, because I will be getting a better item soon from, uh, Professor Juniper, because you're gonna be seeing Professor Juniper somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the super repel here, and I'm gonna go ahead and run all the way up here. Uh, I hope I can't find any Pokemon over level 28 because Ripclaw is not good with fighting Pokemon. He just really is not good with fighting wild Pokemon. His main enemy is Deerling. Deerling kills his ass. Hey! Oh god. It's her. It's her! Ah! It's Bianca! Ew! Leave me alone! Ew! Mega Man, did you know this? The floating stones move when you touch them, obviously. Right, Professor? Professor? Hi, Juniper! Hi! Hi! Hi there! How are you, Mega Man? I'm good. How are you? You're just looking at rocks. That's nice. This place is always charged with lots of electricity that Pokemon like. That electric charges react from one stone to another, and that's why some of the stones are floating. But not all the stones can be pushed. My father asked me to research Clink, which is a Pokemon that looks like a gear, because I'm researching the origins of Pokemon in the era they appear. He knows how to get how to get what he wants from people, but he was always he was already interested in this all anyway. So it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, Mega Man, this is for you. This item, the Lucky Egg, this is very helpful for battling and if you want to train up your Pokemon, you get you get much more experience in battle. It it, it increases experience by a lot. So I'm gonna switch up the experience share with the Lucky Egg. Unfortunately, the Lucky Egg doesn't work as the experience share does with the um. That if you switch out, like if you don't have the Pokemon in battle, the uh, Lucky Egg won't work. But if you do have, if you do use that Pokemon that's holding the Lucky Egg, they will get so much experience from that. Um, as soon as my first repel wear, as soon as this first repel wears off, I'm gonna be looking for that next Pokemon that I want to catch to add to my team. That's why I cleared up my team. Uh, that's why I cleared up my party because I had a full team of two Pokemon that were completely useless. One was Simi Sage and the other one was uh, Deerling. Alright, so now we can go ahead and battle this guy. Scientist. This cave is full of rocks generating electricity. The po the scientists in here, unlike the ones outside, they don't research Deerling. Deerling. They research the Pokemon known as Clink. Clink is a steel type, so this is actually very good for Ripclaw. Uh, because Ripclaw is super effective against it. Unfortunately, I had to get rid of Metal Claw um, from... In, I, I learned Slash. Uh, he had Dig with him. He had Home Claws with him. I replaced uh, Metal Claw with Bulldoze, but whatever. Bulldoze should take out Clink. Um, I'm hoping at least. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Use your X attack. I don't really care. Bulldoze should take out Clink. Ah, uh, no, it didn't. Damn it. Okay, then. Uh, we'll do another one then, huh? <laughs> Alright, well next I'm gonna have to use an Aether on Dig, because, yeah. And see? 813 experience. That's amazing for leveling up weak Pokemon. So if you want to train up a weak Pokemon, hoo-hoo, definitely use this, this Lucky Egg. Uh, oh, no, not, not a Moomoo Milk, I've already used enough. Okay, Aether on Ripclaw on Dig, and then we're good. I'm pretty, I, I think we're good. Because I think you can only use Dig ten times. Uh, that's the way you're supposed to go, but I want to battle some trainers. Uh, is there a hidden item right here? Nope, okay. Because some of those, like, under those, uh, rocks, some of them, there are hidden items under there. Oh, what's this? Flying gem, that's cool, even though I'm not going to have a flying- Well, I am going to have a flying type, but part flying type. A heal ball right here, so that's cool. Uh, I'm going to battle you. Yes, you! You will give me a lot of experience. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, people are messaging me on Skype like crazy now. <sighs> Alright, Ace Trainer Jared with an Archon. Archon is a rock flying type. So, Ripclaw. Oh, damn it, he's far flying. Um, maybe if I use Home Claws a bunch of times and then. Ooh, that might do a lot. Yeah, that hurt. I, I died from that. That's pretty bad. Okay, then, uh, go Toadie. And I'm gonna revive <laughs> because I really need uh, Ripclaw to get all this exper experience. Okay, so revive Ripclaw, and now we'll just kill it with Toadie, I guess. I guess we'll use Scald 
can take out Archon. Archon is actually the Pokemon that comes out of the, uh, flu I think it's the cover fossil that comes out of, I don't know, whatever. Uh, cause the two fossils give, uh, either, uh, Archon, which is this Pokemon, or, uh, I forgot what the other one is, but it's some type of turtle. I forgot what it's called, though. Whatever, there goes Archon, and we'd be Ace Trainer Jerry, not a heal up Toady. Ah, Toady, Toady gonna heal itself up. Okay, um, Hyper Potion, I guess. Uh, on Toady, yes. Cause I want to use Toady in here, cause there are rock types in here. A lot of rock types, actually, but more more clinks than rock types. Okay, so there should be a hidden item under here, right? Maybe? Nope. Okay. Um, now, move this to the side. Okay. Uh, now, move- No! Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so now- No! Leave me alone, Ace Trainer. Okay, so, move this down now. And now, run down here, and... Go down here, uh, hidden item? Nope, that's- You can push. Exclamation mark! Oh, Juniper's coming back with Bianca. Bianca, leave me alone! Please, leave me alone. Hi there, did you find something? I think we're just just about done collecting data. I didn't do anything! This cave has been around si has been around since the distant past, but data to prove that Clink existed more than 100 years ago can't be found. So that must mean Clink suddenly appeared 100 years ago. Uh, okay. Whatever. You know, you know what, Mega Man? Pokemon are mysterious. Nah. <laughs> I wonder why these amazing little guys stay by our sides. Yeah, I wonder that too. Sometimes. All right. Uh, this guy should have Rock types. Yes. Okay. Good. He's either gonna have Rock types or or a Clink. Hopefully, he has like a Rock and Roller or something, or maybe a a Bulldor. Yep, a Bulldor. Cool. This will be so helpful for Rip Claw. This will definitely get him up a level. Oh yeah, this will get him up a level a lot. Alright, let's dig Bulldor. Boom. Boom. Okay. Let's go down. Use dig. And uh, we're gonna use one more dig because I know we're not gonna be able to take it out in one hit because either way, even if it did live there, it still had sturdy. So yeah. Uh, what should I do now? You know what? Just use slash. I don't care. Hopefully that takes it out still. Yes it does. Okay, so there goes Bulldor. That'll definitely get me up a level. I'm I am positive. Level 29. Boom. Rock slide. Ooh. Uh, that could have been useful to take out Archon. Um, 60, 75, hmm. 80. Uh. <sighs> you know what? Do it. Cause the next gym's gonna be a rock type gym. So yes. Rock slide. Awesome. And a Girder. Alright, uh, Girder is a fighting type. Uh, so, let's see. Um, dig. See how much that does. If not, if it doesn't do anything, we'll switch. Because I'm guessing it's not going to do shit. I mean, unless it does something. Eh, yeah, not enough. Chip away might kill me. Oh, it didn't. Okay, good. Alright then, uh, go Toady. Go and use Scald. Take out that Gurgur. Go Toady. Yeah. Kill the Scald. Don't chip away me. Don't chip me away. Scald. Goodbye. Ah. And that that even sounds like it would hurt. The sound that it makes. That would hurt so much. And maybe Hiker Hardy. Uh, do I evolve or next level? Yeah, next level. Okay. Um. Hyper Potion, I guess, on uh, Rip Claw. Um, when is my Repel gonna wear off? Is my Repel ever gonna wear off? Hopefully. Oh, okay. So, now we're gonna be searching for the next member of my team. This one's pretty, actually, really rare to find. So, uh, wish me luck. See you in a second. <sighs> Oh my god! Oh my god! After all this time of finally fucking looking past running into wild Joltix and Clinks and Boldors and Ferrothorn, I finally found it! I found Tynamo! 
Ten minutes ago, I actually found one of these and knocked it out. I'll show you the scene right now because I had it on recording. <gasps> I found it! Finally! I have literally been recording for 20 minutes trying to find this thing. Oh my god, I finally found it. Okay, so this is Dynamo. It's a really great electric type of all this finally time of just running through Joltix and Bulldoors. <gasps> no! <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Yeah, I've been searching for this thing for 30 minutes now. Okay, I'm gonna use tackle on this thing. Hopefully I don't knock it out like that last flashback that I just showed you. Ah, okay. I think I'm gonna catch it right here. Uh, this thing was such a pain in the dick to catch. And I finally found it. I'm so happy. Alright, let's go ahead and throw a, a poke an ultra ball. Actually, heal ball at it. Because I want it to... Actually, why did I throw a heal ball? I thought I accidentally paralyzed it. Oh well. Come on, please catch this thing. One. No! <laughs> no! No, I don't care. I'm using Ultra Ball on this thing. Fuck no. Fuck no. Go ahead, you spark on me. That's not gonna do shit to me. Alright, let's go, Ultra Ball. Don't be a pain in the dick to catch Tynamo, too. Come on, Ultra Ball. One. Two. Three. Yes! <laughs> finally! Ah, oh, I love how I made that gasp of relief when I finally found it. Yes, I found Dynamo, the Elephish Pokemon. Yes, okay, I can finally nickname it this. Yes, okay, it's the f fifth edition of my team, and this one makes sense if you know. This name makes sense if you know what it evolved into. Python. Oh my god, yes! I'm so happy. Alright, so now I'm probably... You know, I'm probably not going to use uh, uh, Tynamo quite yet. I might actually get Ripclaw up a, up one level, so hopefully have him evolve, and then I'll start using uh, Python, probably in the next episode, because I, I've been recording for so long. Um, I just wanted to take a break in a little while. So now I can finally take off my bike. And I can finally turn my repel away, like, put my repel back on. Uh, I actually found a fire gem, uh, while I was doing that, so that's cool. Uh, I want to find a, um, repel? A super repel. Okay. Um, oh god, I only have one repel to last me through the whole cave. Damn it. Okay, I don't care. I'm keeping Ripclaw in front. Hopefully he can evolve and then I'll end the video off. Uh, alright, so we're gonna move down here now. Oh, I'm so happy I finally fucking found that thing. That's such a pain in the ass to catch. I mean, to find. Uh, ah, ninjas. Again. Junja. Come. Stop saying come. <laughs> Look at the way they walk. <laughs> okay. Okay, go away from me now. There's stairs going down ahead. Team Plasma was waiting for you down there. Alright, cool. Alright, what's this item? Hyper Potion! Awesome! I need a, a bunch of those, probably. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Yes, push that. Push that. Push that shit. Push that shit. <laughs> okay, what's this? Nothing? Okay. Uh, battle me! Yes, battle me! Yes, let me battle your clink! <laughs> let me battle your clink! <laughs> okay. Yes, I know you have a clink, so I'm gonna use Dig on it. Scientist Naoko, Naoko, Clink. Alright, we'll take out this Clink with Dig. Level 29, Ripclaw. You can probably take this thing out and evolve. And then I'll end it. I'll be so happy. Dig. Oh my god, I finally fucking found a Tynamo. I can't believe I finally caught a fucking Tynamo. That took me so long to find. I knocked it out once when I got that on video, so I'm, I showed you guys it already. Oh, that was crazy. Alright, well I get up a level... Yes! Level 30! Awesome! Ripclaw is now going to be awesome! Alright, we beat Scientist Naoko. Aha! That made my light bulb go on my head. He didn't evolve? Maybe he evolves in one more level. Alright then, we're gonna let him evolve and then we're gonna end the video off. Whenever he... Oh no, did I just fuck it up? 
damn it, I just fucked up the puzzle. You're supposed to push that against this one, and then you want to go over here and go through. Because there's an item over there. You know, let's just do that. I'm going to go down these stairs and go back up, and then fix that puzzle. Oh, there's actually a healing uh, place coming up next. Coming up soon, so we can heal up. Oh, there's a thing right there. Hopefully it's not our drill bird, because I don't want to find another drill bird. I just want to get an item. Okay, uh, give me this item. Iron. Okay, cool. Iron raises defense. I'll probably give that to, uh, um, no, who's more defensive of the, of them? Hmm. No, it's down here. Um, iron, where is it? Okay. Defense. Uh, just give it to Rick, Ripclaw. He needs defense. He really sucks at taking hits. So let's go down now. Do, do, do. Really needs more attack too. Once he evolves, I'll be so happy. All right. Hopefully, he evolves to level 31. Unless Clay was a a hacker, and got a level 31 Excadrill. Oh, these guys. Uh, they will both give you nuggets. I think they will both give you a nugget, or maybe they just give you one. Yeah, they give you a nugget, which you can sell for a lot of money. So that's useful. And yeah, you get two nuggets. Okay. Q. Uh, you can send that. You can sell that for like a hundred thousand Poké Dollars, I think, because they. I believe uh, you can sell nuggets for 50,000 Poké Dollars. Nothing, really? Alright, then, uh, what's up here? Uh, repel war off. Uh, okay, go up. What's up here? Oh, no! I don't want to go back here! Hell no! Oh, wait. Where am I supposed to go up here? Maybe I am. I don't know. If I, if I seriously went the wrong way, I will be pissed. Well, if there's a ledge over there... You know, it makes sense. Alright, uh, no, I don't want to use a hyper potion, I want to use a repel. Um... Where's the repel? Why are my items in such a random order? Oh, I accidentally pressed enter. There. Items have been sorted. No, I don't... I want to unsort in them! Damn it! Alright, whatever. Uh, what's over here? N nothing! Wow! Unless there's a hidden item right here. HP up. Wow, yeah, that's useful. Oh, I went up here, wasted all those steps of a repel, just to get a fucking HP up. Oh, God damn it. The music sounds different down this way. Alright, let's go. I think there's a healing place, like, right around here. Yeah, there's a nurse somewhere. Him! Yes, no doctor! Heal me! Heal me! Oh wait, I gotta kill you first. Alright, let's go! Let's go! Okay. Come on. Let's go. Alright, we got Dr. Wayne with a Swad Loon! Oh my god! <laughs> Ripclaw has such a hard time taking out Swad Loons, I swear. Um, since he has Rock Slide, would that be super effective? Because he's part bug. Let's see. Yes, it is super effective. Nice. Alright, awesome. One more rock slide will take it out. Yay, rock slide! Ripclaw can actually do something to Pokemon now. And I'm gonna get a bunch of experience, because Swadloom gives a bunch of experience. See, look at that. Look at that bundle of experience. No, I just Yeah, okay. Heal me up, please. Thank you. And I need to give him an HP up. I just want to give him an HP up because I can. Where is it? Must be all the way up. Oh, no, it's in here. I forgot. HP up is in the um, healing items. That didn't raise my HP! It was supposed to put it to 80. Fuck it, shit. Fucking A. Oh, Team Plasma. Um. Okay, go. 